Hello everyone, in this video let's discuss about the implementation of connection oriented service. So between the source and the destination there is a virtual circuit. If we consider host 1 and host 2 as the source and host 3 as the destination. So this is the virtual circuit. It cannot be seen by naked eye. So let us consider these two hosts will send an information and the information will be sent in the form of packets. We know in network layers the information will be sent in the form of the packets. So it will go to the nearest router A. From A because of the connection oriented service whatever the values that the sender will send will go in a simultaneously. Whatever the information these two hosts will send it will go simultaneously that is simultaneous h1 and h2 h1 and h2 must transmit to nearest router a they will transfer to the nearest router a and message is represented as the packets now what it will happen is a will send the message or the packets to the next router let us consider it will send to the c so while writing the routing table for a for previous and the after previous and after from where it is receiving the message and where it is transferring it is receiving the message from h1 and h2 it is transferring the message to c router so this virtual circuit will be supported by the subnet what is subnet this subnet provides the internet service provider which will provide the internet for the host message to be sent to the receiver now these routers will be connected because this is a connection oriented service no so this will be connected using the lan what is lan local area network now this will be called as the router how many routers are there 1 2 3 4 5 and this one is outside the subnet now from where a is receiving the information h1 and h2 h1 and h2 it is receiving so h1 is giving the input so i will write one and h2 is giving the h2 is giving the input so i will write one now this is of the incoming where the information is coming to a so now outgoing it will go to c let's consider it will go to c first h1 will go whichever the process will be coming first one process will go so let's consider h1 will go now next process is what next process is h2 so while h2 is coming it will encode it as 2 because if it encodes h2 is also equal to 1 then there will be a confusion among which is the h1 message and which is the second message that is produced by the host 2 so we will represent the h2 message as 2 in the outcome table now let's write the table for c so if we see c it is receiving the information from a so that is income income of the information is from a and it is outputting the information that is packets to the next router that is e now when it's encodes if h1 will come it is 1 if h2 is coming it is 2 so it will since we are having only two messages that are sent from host 1 and host 2 it will be sent directly to the next router that is host 1 message will be represented as 1 and host 2 message will be represented as 2 next same for the e table so e is receiving from the c so the income is from income is from c and outgoing is to f outcome is to f so f will be the outcome and it will be getting the information from the c so if it gets the host 1 information it will be represented as 1 if it is host 2 information it will be represented as 2 if uh, then while sending to the f that is next router it will represent it as 1 and 2 itself that is host 1 message and host 2 message after reaching the f router it will be sent to the receiver so the receiver will track the information which is sent from the sender if it is correct it is ok so Hope you understood the concept of the implementation of connection oriented service. If you just write this diagram 
and this trebles in the exam you will get full on full marks hope you understood the concept if you like the video don't miss to subscribe our channel please support us for more engineering related topics thank you